Hello, everybody! I have returned for another part of the Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke. Now, I really did try. I really, I'm not sure if you guys are around around Wednesday, the 21st, but I did try to record this, or put on live this game, but it wasn't really working out. So I'm just gonna try and record this again, and then hopefully next time I go back to try to live stream it, hopefully it will work. But for now, we're gonna continue on. Oh, last time, um, last time we were here, we, um, we had to do, oh, we went through, um, a Gengar trying to erase our memories, and a cult that was trying to kill us, according to the frickin' <laughs> introduction. Jesus. Never imagined Pokemon being that dark, but this isn't made by Game Freak. This is a fan game. But, I mean, honestly, it's actually a great introduction. And then after we escaped with Mew, because Mew saved us from Gengar, we witnessed a ritual by the Dark Ride Cultist, which is the group that kidnapped me. They were trying to summon Dark Ride and hopefully get it to join their team, but Dark Ride didn't want them, apparently. So, now, after we escaped, we got to this town that Damien, I believe his name is, for... Um, sorry, I can't imagine you've seen this Eevee follow me. But, um, we met Damien, got our first Pokemon, got our Pokeballs, and now we're ready to start the Nuzlocke. Which, remember the rules that I've mentioned in the last episode. Eh, ooh. Oh, that's a potion. I was like, why do I see purple over there? Is there, like... Anyways, so let's head out and get our first encounter, because I'm really excited to see what my first encounter will be. What's this? Dex staff. Will. 
Okay. That works for me. I'm happy with that. And I know the perfect name for this Caterpie. Yeah. I know the perfect name for this Caterpie. Kidding me? Freaking record my voice. <sighs> I'm sorry if you guys hear nothing at a time. For some odd reason, the audio cut off. And I'm not really happy about it either. But. I just got to go down. I don't see anything else I can do.
first Pokemon and I lost her. Go put moth around the box. Oh, sucks.
guys. Sorry about that. My computer just crashed out of nowhere when it came to while I was recording this. So, you're probably wondering what happened and if I saved everything or not. Well, no. I had to go all the way back to the beginning and recatch some stuff. So, Mothra is dead, but she's no longer here. In fact, let me show you my new team as of right now, because I had to go all the way back to beating the physical, all the training, and stuff like that. So, here's my team as of right now. We, ha we now have a new member named Nightmare. Because of the incident with Ghastly, I decided to name him Nightmare. And this is his stats, his EVs and IVs and all that little stuff. His defense is terrible, sadly, but it is what it is. And we have Mike again from our... That was the first encounter that we found in the wild again. So I was like, hey, Mike's back. Let's get Mike. The only thing that changed though was his EVs, his nature and stuff, mostly. Because he was a modest, I think. No, he was hardy. And now he's sassy. But it is what it is. Luckily I saved, and I'll save one more time just to make sure. We don't lose everything. Guys, oh my god, now it's like an hour's worth of work. We lost, and we're not doing that again. Now, we're going to continue on. There's the gas
so close. area yes finally jeez I was like this is where we're gonna end this let's get my account here so I have something let's see what it is Ooh, I'll take that I'll take electric type a name for him.
quest. I'm trying to find out where I need my um, my substriker. That's what his name was. Ross. So, at this point, I'm kind of sick of it right now. I have been trying very, very hard to keep all of these audios in check as I do this last lock. In case if you're all wondering what happened, yes, it happened again. My audio had suddenly cut off as I was doing more of the recording with the Nuzlocke. It's very, very frustrating just to keep seeing my um, recording system just freeze out every now and then. And then as soon as I fix it to turn it back on, the audio just suddenly doesn't record without my notice, even though I actually push the button to make sure it's recording. And honestly, I just don't know what to say anymore. I honestly don't know what to say anymore about this recording stuff, especially with um, getting all the audio, making sure it's completely um, readable or not, but I don't have any other words about it. I'm just, I'm just so over it because not only did the audio just cut off, but there was also the shutdown of my computer that suddenly happened as I was doing a bit of the Nuzlocke, which I'm sure you saw at the beginning, where I had a Caterpie instead of a Ghastly as my first encounter in the wild, but it happened. It just had to happen. I know this is a bit overwhelming for you guys, especially since you're all wondering what had happened. How was I reacting to all this since I don't provide face cam because I don't really want to show my face when it comes to the internet and stuff. I will happily explain what's going on with the Nuzlocke through a commentary, just so that way there is a bit of audio as I play the game in speed up mode. Well, not sp I play not necessarily play it in speed up mode, but like explain it as I speed things along since I don't think y'all want to hear my so I'm sure you all just want to know, like, get to the point, how many team, what's my team member so far, and all that stuff. But there are stories behind them, and I do want to talk about them. It's just mostly frustrating that I have to do all this extra work so I can provide all of the necessarily complica complications. Especially since I have other stuff going on in real life that I'm not really wanting to talk about. So I'm sure you all want to know what went down, and I will be more than happy to explain it through a commentary. And don't worry, you won't be able to see me holding this book every now and then because I have to take notes of what happened since I figured out at the end of the video that the audio was cut off. So here is what happened. So after nicknaming my Blitzel Roswell, I've always loved that name for my substrike, so I decided to keep him that way. So I decided to continue on and make sure heal everybody, especially Roswell, because I did want to train him up in case if I find any other like water or flying type Pokemon that I might need to face. And I think yep, yeah, this is one of them. But the thing is, when I switched, when I tried to switch to Roswell, I only realized he had a quick attack and tackle, so I had to switch into EV and um, take out the Murkrow that way. Sadly, and then I almost lost EV with 10 health. Ugh, that was scary. I was very worried for my little Eevee back then. So I decided to continue on and head my way to a little cave that I noticed at the back. And oh my goodness, this mod shop was a pain in the butt. Because I barely had anybody to face against him. Because Eevee's weak to fighting and Cubone's got weak defense. So I decided to put it to sleep with Ghastly, or Nightmare in this case. 
and then try to chip off damage from it, but then it used Foresight, and I thought it was nothing until I used Crychop, and that made me realize, well, shoot. You can attack ghost types now with Foresight, which I completely forgot that was a thing, so I've been just spamming potions the entire time, hoping to find a way to have the Machop not attack me so I can try to put it to sleep again, but that was not really working, so... I kept trying to heal, <laughs> but it wasn't working. <laughs> I was getting frustrated, so I was like, let's put him to sleep and switch into Eevee, and that's what exactly happened. And thank goodness for that, because that was my saving grace. So next I had Jigglypuff, which was a little bit easier now, since I just swift it, not having to worry about lowering my attack stat. But holy crap, I felt very scared that time, because I was so worried about Nightmare dying on me, and I didn't want Nightmare to die yet. <laughs> so then we got this battle with, um, the Execute, so I thought it'd be a little funny to throw in and sit to protect that up war, and I managed to paralyze it, but it used Reflect on me, which, and then, which, lo which lowers my attack stat, and then Leech Seeded and put me to sleep, so I was like, nope. Switching to Eevee, but then she switched to Krabby, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's do this instead. <laughs> and I thought I'd train up Roswell a bit, and oh my god, that literally scared me. And I was lucky enough to have a quick attack on my side to finish off the Krabby and give it, you know, Roswell could gain some experience. So I switched back to Nightmare, predicting another uproar, which, which is what happened. I managed to wake up Nightmare and use Lick on Execute. But he used Leech Seal on me, and I'm. I think at this point, and then he put me to sleep. Yep, and he put me to sleep. So I switched back to Eevee, and hopefully this time finish it off. And he put me to sleep. And I'm like, really? <laughs> at this point, I'm like, nope. And I got managed to get Eevee to wake up and use Swift on to execute. And thank goodness for that. So I realized that there was a new encounter, but then I saw the Great Ball, so I went to go get that. And then I went to find this encounter, which is a very, very scary situation, because that's an Abra, and you know what Abras use. Teleport. And that's exactly what happened. So I lost my encounter on that little area. So I decided to uh, see what other Pokemon is there, just because out of curiosity. So... Then I found this area, and this actually counts as a new encounter, because it's called Minna Garden. So... I went around, talked to people, and then this person mentioned about the Hidden Grottoes, which was at um, Black and White 2 as well. And then I noticed a little area patch um, up there by Bidoof. So I went in and found this Durant in the Hidden Grotto, and I was like, oh goody, I could use that. But the problem is, um, it's very strong. Very strong. I kept using um, Sand Attack on me, and I don't know getting tired of it at this point, so I decided to switch it to Nightmare, and hopefully either paralyze it or put it to sleep. So I started using Lick at first, so I could get some chip damage off. I was also very worried, because it kept using Metal Sound, so I thought there might be a um, special attack move it's got in there. So I decided to um, hurry it up and use um, Hypnosis and then just try to catch it from there. And I managed to catch it, and I didn't know what to name it at first, so I thought about the Ants movie from G-Works, so I named him Z, based off of that movie alone. And thankfully that nurse was there, so I got to heal up my team without having to use a single potion a bit. And then continued on to, um, the next town, and fight some trainers along the way. Oh, so this was a scary part, I think. They used to sharpen, which also increases its attack power, and I was not willing to uh, keep Mike, the Cubone, out much longer, so I switched into Z, but then as I was looking through that stat, I noticed he's got Hustle, which means its attack power increases, but it's lower accuracy, and I'm like, well... And then... Well, luckily it turned out, because Z took out the Porygon, which is what I needed. So when Buizel came out, I switched to Eevee, and then I realized it has Sonic Boom. Luckily, Eevee had 43 health, so I could take two hits of it, 
but it still scared me a lot because it dropped Eevee down to three health and I didn't want to risk him dying at all. So I healed up Eevee a bit and then ran into a counter where we find Paris and Paris poisoned Eevee. So I used Swift to hopefully take it out. Well, then I was like, I don't want Eevee to, to poison damage, so I switched into Roswell and used Quick Attack, but then they poisoned Roswell as well. So I had to fix that. <laughs> so when Spinarak came out, I decided to use a Super Potion on Eevee to prevent the poison from chipping down every now and then. And then I switched back to Z, because you can't poison Z, and I just realized that, and then used Vice Grip on the spinner rack to hopefully take it out before it does anything too serious. And I wanted um, Z to learn bite because that's an attacking move and I don't want metal sound any longer. And once I healed the poison I was able to get to the next town. Talked to a bunch of people, invaded people's houses, <laughs> Because that's what the main protagonist has to do. <laughs> Not, nah, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, yeah, I even stole a great ball from him. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, hey, it's a free great ball, let's get that. So, as I continued to look through, um, other people's houses, and then talk to other people outside, I, um, discovered that Eevee can mega evolve now, so... I was really excited, and I'm like, alright, I can't evolve Eevee, because I want to see this Mega Evolution and see what he can do. <laughs> but, um... I continued to talk to other people, noticed a weird statue, and then found another great ball, because we need a bunch of Pokeballs to... Um... To catch more Pokemon. And then I found a shop, and then Pokemon Center, bought more potions, that way I have more... Items to use. And then I discovered this thing called the Pika Taxi, which is allowed to take me instead of anywhere I need to, except for that, so I don't use fly as much. And then I discovered the Pokemon School and realized I had to find, well, first talk to Damien and stole a Premier Ball. <laughs> so I talked to the, um, the teacher, I think that's what she is, about um, the tournament and wanted to sign up, but they mentioned they are missing someone, so apparently they want me to go find that person. And I'm assuming it's in there. And then as I was walking through, I wanted to get an encounter as I found and that turn encounter turned out to be a suit a woobat. So I was like, alright, I could use a flying psychic type. Cause I don't have one, I think. I don't think. So I caught it. And then Fun fact, I actually named him well, let me see what I named him. <laughs> Woo woo, yeah, woo woo, because I was like, it's a woo bat, so let's call him woo woo. And then checked his um, nature, which is a modest nature, and I think that's good. And. Let's see, yeah, I ran into another counter. I had to deal with the timber, and I didn't want to um, lose Eevee to timber, and then he used focus energy, and I'm like, oh, well, let's heal woo bat. And then he used Abide, which was really thankful for me. So all I had to do is heal up um, Woo Woo, and then use that use a move, any non-attacking moves. So, but then he used Abide after I used Confusion. I'm like, oh well, let's kill it. Luckily, I didn't have to worry too much because when he sent out Cricketot, I had Gust, so I could just use Gust and take out Cricketot and train up Woo Woo a bit more. And the same with Chikorita. I just use Gust most of the time, but the Razor Leaf did scare me a little bit. Because <laughs> it got down to six, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> Get out, Chikorita. <laughs> and I think that was it. Because um, I decided to, you know, walk around a bit more to see if there's anything else, but then I realized there's nothing else, and I probably should end it because I noticed my audio was cut off. So I switched up with Eevee, saved, and I think you all know where, um,. This goes, so I wanted to make sure. And that was that! That was all I have about the um, Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke. Thank you all very, very much for watching this. I apologize deeply for um, all the technical difficulties. Anyways, if you guys are new, feel 
free to hit the subscribe button. I mean, you don't really have to. It's just a suggestion. I might upload this a bit more. And, um, if you like the video, please hit that like button. And let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Okay, bye.